Greetings hobbyists, this is R stands of all. And in this quick tip video, we're gonna have a look at the vertex slide and edge slide functions and some tips and tricks so that you can get the most out of them. So let's get straight into this and bring in a plane. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna go into vertex mode by pressing tab. If you don't have machine tools, you won't have that pie menu, just press tab and either press one or go to the option just up in the top left hand corner. And then I'm gonna press control and R to bring in an edge loop so we can demonstrate our point. So what we're going to do is start by selecting one vertex and have a look at the vertex slide function. So this is a very simple function to use. All you do is press G twice, so GG, and then you can slide along your edge or one of the edges that is collected to this vertex. Either one, two, or in this instance, three. And you'll notice the way this functions is that we've got this white dotted line that I'm moving around with the mouse, and that gives us an indication of the direction we're going in. So as long as I've got it pointed closest to the edge that I wanted to slide along, that is the edge you're gonna slide. And if I move it up here, as soon as I get closer to the original position of the other edge, it will start the vertex sliding along that edge instead. So a very useful tool just to move things around quickly, especially if I press R and Z and rotate my object slightly, I can still press GG and slide along this vertex, which makes it nice and easy to use, even if it isn't in the direction of one of the axes. I'm just gonna undo that rotation just to demonstrate another point, which is really important for this. So when I press GG, you'll also notice in the top left-hand corner, I've got some information, including the amount that the vertex is sliding. And importantly, that is not an amount in units. That is a proportion of how far the vertex is along this edge. So if I go all the way to this edge, you'll notice that it goes to one, all the way back to our original position, it is effectively zero. And that's quite useful because it means that without knowing the length of this edge, I can still go exactly halfway along just by pressing GG and then typing in 0 0.5 and I know that's exactly halfway. Now vertex slide is particularly useful if you're gonna do something like cleanup after you've done some booleans. I'm just gonna press shift and R to bring in some vertices here. And say you've got these and they're not needed. In many instances, we could just press control and X to dissolve them. But in some instances you can't, especially if you've got a more complex object than just this plane. And as long as you've got this auto merge vertices selected on in the top right hand corner, what that allows you to do is if I press GG and just slide it along to a vertex, and then this one GG and slide it along to a vertex, these will now have been combined together if I press G and start moving them around. So this is quite a quick option for cleaning up errors. If I just go back, selecting one, select the other one, press M and at last to merge them. Just GG, slide along and you're done. Now there are some other options once I press GG in that top left hand corner. And one that's really helpful is C, which adds a clamp to this edge. And what that means is that now where this white dotted line is doesn't make any difference. And I can actually slide my vertex further than what it originally was. If I press GG normally, I can either go to there and I can't go any further, but C to clamp it, oh, I just clamped the wrong one. You can press C again to stop the clamp, allows you to go further if you wanted to. The other function of the vertex slide, if I just press Ctrl and R and bring in another edge loop here, is that we can mimic or create an even distance between some of the other vertices. So if we have a look, for example, at this distance here compared to this distance here, these are not equal distances. The one that's labeled X is a shorter distance than the one that's labeled Y because this point has been brought in exactly halfway between, which is not necessarily what we want. But if we press GG and start sliding along and then we press E for even thickness, you'll notice that now this is an exact thickness from the vertices that are on the right hand side, which means that we can make this as wide or as narrow as we want while keeping that even thickness. And if we want it the other side, we just need to press F and then we can flip that to the other side. And again, F will flip it again. So those combined together give you a lot of options. Now I'm just gonna delete this object and just bring in instead a cube. And we're gonna have a quick talk about edge slide instead. Now edge slide, if I go into edge mode and press control and R, is effectively the same thing as vertex slide. It just works a little bit more predictably in some situations where you don't have something simple like a plane. In fact, if I go into vertex mode first and select these vertices, 
you'll notice when we come in close that what this has done is actually Blender thinks that by selecting this vertex and this vertex, you've also selected the edge between it. You'll see that's entirely orange. And then if I select these two, not only has that selected the edge along the bottom, it's also selected these two side ones and the face in the middle. And this causes Blender some confusion. If I was to press GG and start moving this, they'll either move together or they'll start moving away from each other, which means that we're getting a little bit of an odd function. It might be the function you want, so know that that's there. But this is when we're in vertex mode using vertex slide. So if I come into edge mode, either by using the machine tools, Pi, or if you don't have it, just press two, or come to the option up here when you're in edit mode, what we can do here is just select that edge and shift select that edge. And now if I press GG, I'm in edge slide instead of vertex slide. And what that's gonna do is attempt to keep these edges an equal length. So now if I slide these up, you'll notice that it is keeping that edge that's been selected, or those two edges that have been selected, the same width. And if I again still press C, you can still use the clamp to be able to take that further. So an important difference between the vertex slide and the edge slide there. As always, I hope you found that video useful. Please give it a like if you have. It means that YouTube's wonderful algorithms start showing it to more people and more people will therefore get to see it. And if you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button and the bell button so that you know when videos are being released. Have a great day, guys.